we're back. So here goes. I told you before, the new seven hearts. If you mess up and don't find your seven guardians of light, we're gonna need another group to fall back on. Leave innocent people out of it! Oh, look at this tough guy, such a big boy now. Well, maybe you should do your job and find the other guardians of light. <laughs> Please, like you found your 13. The king said you're one seeker of darkness short. Oh no, we're set. Huh? <laughs> They have all 13? Then if we don't find our seven, they'll go after Elsa and Anna. It'll be okay. They're strong. You're right. They have each other. Anna. Oh, Elsa. You sacrificed yourself for me. I love you. An act of true love will thaw frozen hearts. Love will thaw. Love. Elsa? Of course. Love. Blizzard Claws and Blizzard Blades? Oh, man. You know what that sounds like? <laughs> the, uh, the Monsters Inc. one. <laughs> you know what I like? The Monsters Inc. one. Yeah, but it's mostly magic, though. I guess we'll see. I'm hoping it's good. I really have to use the bathroom, but I don't feel like doing edits, so I'll make it work. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sorry we're late. It's okay. You got here as fast as you could. The organization claims to have their 13 darknesses. Do we believe it's true? Um, I don't know. But there's something else they keep mentioning. They're after a new seven hearts, which seems to be code for... Let's go bother more princesses. Well, as the original princesses of hearts, time for protecting the pure light has ended. They have passed the light to others. Our enemy must certainly be cognizant of this. If the new seven hearts is what they wish to call them, so be it. But Kairi hasn't passed on her power. Is she one of the new seven? She must be. But still, she chose to wield a Keyblade and fight with us as one of the Guardians of Light. Yeah. Hey, at least we tracked down Ventus. Vanitas told us that he's inside Sora's heart. And so did Ansem the Wise and his data, so it almost certainly must be true. 
<laughs> That's great. Now we can rescue Ben. Maybe. Except Aqua's the only one who knows where he's hidden. We still have to find her first. I'll go. What? what? Is that wise? You need the power of waking, Sora. Do you have it? Uh... No. Probably not. Without that power, you are not ready to face the realm of darkness. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Sorry. Master Yen Sid knows you a little too well. He said you'd try to stage a half-baked rescue. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up! Sora, huh? I know you're volunteering because you're worried. About me and Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks. But, the power of waking's important. You can come to the rescue once you've got that. Sound fair? Yeah. All right. But be safe. No reckless stunts. Yes, sir. Tell us the reckless one. No, not exactly. He just doesn't think. If only he listened to Master Yen Sid the way he listens to Riku. That would be a good start. I'm listening now. <laughs> Very good. Sora will continue his journey to build his powers, while Mickey and Riku will focus on the search for Aqua. I have to pee. Yes, sir. Oh, it's over. That was quick. Maybe? No, he's going to talk some more. I'm sure of it. And to be honest, if he starts talking again, I'm going to go use the bathroom and leave this up. But until then, I'm going to spin around. Oh. So why are you back? Nice way to greet your old partner in crime. <laughs> so, why do you think the old geezer took us back? He must know we backstabbed the organization when Xemnas was running it. Xehanort doesn't care about you or me. To him, we're nothing but empty husks. The old organization was the same. Xehanort needs 13 vessels to hold his essence. Husks? Not me. You up for another coup? Oh, please. <laughs> you couldn't do it last time. You gotta play it smart, like me. What? You're not smart? Well, you heard what Marley said. I don't have to be smart. Or capable, or likable, or attractive. A cereal bowl would make a better vessel. Whoa, now. You are way out of line. I am extremely imposing. When I want to be. Which is admittedly almost never. Why haven't you gone to any worlds? Are you slacking? Of course not. I got benched. Huh? Syx brought Vexen on board. They must be planning to use replicas. Those wind-up toys? Oh, no. The replicas are way more real than you remember. I mean, one stole my spot. <laughs> of course it stole your spot. You're dumb as a brick. <laughs> Hardy har. Vexen's latest replicas are no mere puppets. The Riku replica we used in Castle Oblivion was just a prototype. The next replica, the one crafted from Sora's memories, was real enough to join our ranks. And Vexen claims the new ones will be human in every way. If he ever finishes them. Oh, the thing is... I kind of told Sora and his nitwits that we're ready. My bad. 
Let them believe as much. Ugh, Xemnas. If they think that we have all 13 darknesses, then they will panic. And panic leads to a lack of preparation. Yeah, totally. Why is this thing a member again? Hey now, pointing is rude. The first six members of the original organization were all apprentices to Ansem the Wise, and the seventh and eighth members joined thereafter. The thirteenth member was Roxas, a Keyblade wielder. So, what about you? How do you suppose I chose numbers nine through twelve? Because our hearts are uber powerful. Wrong. You have been brought together for another purpose. What? So that we can rot away on the bottom rung? Ugh. You're in two? What is this organization rehash? I happen to play an important role. No one benched me. You were listening? So not cool. One must hold one's cards as long as necessary. What important role? That stupid box that Zigbar claims is real, but won't tell us a thing about? You'll just have to ask Zigbar that. Now then, Semnus. What is this purpose? You didn't invite us back for old time's sake. You four are going to reveal your greatest secret. The ancient Keyblade legacy that slumbers within you. Okay, so we were just in Ar Arendelle. Ooh, the career. 34? Nigga, you. 38! It's fine. We're gonna. Hold on. How do I. There might be more over here. No? Shit. I think I'd have fucked up. To the Caribbean! Can I, like. Begin voyage. Yo, like, I think I... I think I screwed this up. Maybe. I don't know. If I did, tough shit. If I didn't, good shit, you know? There's two types of shit. Bad shit and good shit. Is there a fight already? I just started. What, like, nope. Zone map? Hmm. Where am I going? No, forward. Full speed ahead. Okay. We're going in here. Woohoo! Honestly, I feel like I want to kind of like download like a horror game on here. Only because I know it'll like freak me the fuck out. And it'll be like interesting to see. But also, I don't know, I might kind of like destroy my psyche. Wait, which what? Which one am I fucking going to? The green or the yellow? It's been... Hasn't been that long, but it's been long fucking enough. You know? Let's go to the green. I don't know what the green is, but we're gonna fucking go there. And we're gonna hope for the best. Because why not, you know? Level 11 on the ship. Okay, I'll take it. Better than no, nothing. I don't know what the special weapon button is. Waypoints are special unless they're automatically unlocked in your person. Once waypoints are unlocked, you can use them as parts to ports to embark from. They also allow you to fast travel. Just select the waypoint from the real map or the zone map to warp this location. Awesome! That's beautiful. Now what the fuck are these things? It's like they're here. Oh, wait, wait. They're just like little boost. I don't want a little boost. I want like, I'm, I'm like an unlockable. 
Don't waste my time. I feel like I'm going the absolute wrong way. And, like, that's fine if I am. But it's also not fine. I also feel like I should do, like, the rad brad and, like, cut ahead to something. But, like, I don't know. I feel like it's not the full authentic ex experience if we're not... What the hell is this? Oh, shit. Okay. My bad. <laughs> oh, fuck. Anyway, I feel like it's not the official experience if you're not doing the whole thing, you know? You gotta do the whole thing. From start to finish, because it's a game. And in real life, you can't cut the game. Like, you can cut the game, but you can't. You can cut the game in editing for viewers, but you can't cut it in real life. What if I say something profound? What the fuck is this? Oh, this is the Shanghai place. Okay, well, if I go there, will it. Not right now. Well, it's. Oh, shit. Okay, but will it still count as, like, a thing? I hope it does. It's probably not going to, which is bothersome, but it's fine. How far is it? Wait, it's over here. What am I doing? Okay. Oh, god, shit. Fuck. Okay. I'm struggling. I'm going through a lot right now. I keep looking at the green thing. I think it's where I'm supposed to go, but it's not. I'm also trying to avoid these level 50,000 things. Because I don't have time for it right now. Yeah, I physically don't have the time for it. I've never liked the gummy ship experiences. They're just never fun. Like, I get why they're here. Like I get it. Cause like traveling. And most games have like a travel aspect. But it's just not for me. I just don't like it. I feel like it's a waste of my time. Like just let me fast travel. Especially considering the cutscenes are like 20 minutes long on their own. And then you add this 15 minute long travel thing it's just not worth my time and who actually upgrades gummy ships because i know i sure as hell don't i have better things to do yes let's go what level am i who knows how does that happen would riku know riku knows everything i just need like a kingdom hearts riku's perspective game i know they had one kind of but like i need like the whole the full thing start to finish because I imagine Riku is just chilling on, like, Destiny Island, minding his own damn business while Sora is doing all the work. And then Sora thinks that Riku is doing all the work. But in reality, Riku ain't doing shit. Him and Mickey Mouse are just chilling, drinking the mimosa on Destiny Island. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> Why are you so happy? Cause we get to be pirates again. Yep, you always did like this world. How could anyone not? Still.
It's a real shame we don't have a bigger ship. Got any idea where we're going? Where else? The edge of the world! Captain Sora! Oh? What ails ya, Mr. Goofy? The edge of the world! Aye! We're running out of sea, sir! Aye! We're running out of sea! <laughs> oh? Running out? Okay, the earth is not fucking flat. Waterfall, are we in Canada? Is this Niagara Falls? Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I'm on a cartographer, where are we? The Bermuda Triangle? The Caribbean. So we're by America. Are there waterfalls in this area? I mean, like, I've seen like 90% of the parts of the Caribbean movies. No, it's not Caribbean, it's fucking Caribbean. I don't know if. I don't think I've seen like the most recent one, but like, I feel like I've seen enough to know like who Jack Sparrow is, the octopus guy. Can't think of his name right now, but I know when, I'm see when I see him. I like these outfits though. This little hat. It's cute. Ooh, gotta chill. <sighs> Same. It's like that, we end up this time? It's like that thing where it's like if you were showing on an island and you can only bring three things, who would you bring? And so it's like Donald Goofy and my fucking keyblade. <laughs> Uh, that wasn't Even funny, but I'm, I'm Some pirates, screaming. We won't get anywhere without a ship. Hmm? But you have Donald, Goofy, and your Keyblade, dude. You're good. You're fine. A ship. Oh boy. A ship. On dry land. I don't think this is in Pirates of the Caribbean. Sora? Huh? Oh, Jack Sparrow! Uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. Sure is. <laughs> hey, Jack, where are we? Oh. Belay that ship absconding! Huh? Help me catch the pearl before she gets away! <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. I feel like Square Enix would have paid for a Johnny Depp. Like, yep, put it on my face. Honestly, I don't remember. Are you fu- Oh my god. We have better things to do. Oh. Oh, cop, really? I don't have time for this. I don't might seem like I'm whining because let's be honest, I am. Like I literally just had a boss fight and these motherfuckers are hmm. and they're just they're little They're little like I only you know, I only react to, you know, certain attacks. You know what? Okay, whatever, fine. We're gonna just fucking run towards the ship. I don't got time for this shit. Whatever. Run to the ship. Don't get hit. Nigga, leave me alone. I can see them coming for me. Don't get hit. We're not gonna get hit. We're gonna get to the ship. Oh my god. 
What if I was deaf, you know? Oh shit, okay. That's karma. Jesus Lord. Okay, we're almost there. No! Not to- d Oh God, okay, okay, I'm talking too much shit. I'm like flinching now too. What the? Doing this. No one said you could use my shit. Oh my god. Oh. I didn't replace my 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 pole my my thing. I didn't replenish. Cause it was like cutscene, and then they were like, okay, by the way, you gotta fight some dudes. I'm not prepared for this. Oh my god. If I die, whose fault is this? Is it my fault? It's, it's my fault, because I didn't prepare myself. I had all the time in the world to prepare, and I didn't prepare, and so it's my fault. It's not the game's fault. Oh shit. It's not the game's fault, it's, it's only my fault. And also, like, I want to know how they decide, like, Jesus. I also want to know how they decide combat levels. Because these combat levels are insane. Like, I'm level 30, and the combat level is like 34. And the best part is, like, so when you're playing, I feel like when you're playing a Kingdom Hearts game by itself, like, what is this? What the hell? Anyway, I feel like if you're playing a Kingdom Hearts game, like, like, with the world itself, if you think you're gonna, like, get ahead, you're not. Because the fact that you're, you're not gonna go back and forth trying to get extra levels. No one has time for that. You do what you do and then you move on. Mr. Gibbs! Aye, Captain. I thought so. I expect you're able to account for your actions then. Sir? There's been a perpetual and virulent lack of discipline upon my vessel. Why? Sir, you're... You're in Davy Jones' locker, Captain. Hmm? Davy Jones' locker? I know that. I know where I am. And don't think I don't. I'm in Davy Jones' locker. Assuredly. Oh. Jack Sparrow. <gasps> Barbosa! Oh. Ah, Hector! It's been too long, hasn't it? Aye, Villa de Muerta, remember? You shot me. Hm? Uh, no, I didn't. Sora, we meet again. It's lovely to see you all. Oh, Will, Elizabeth. Is something about you different? Yeah, you look all swashbuckly. Well, <laughs> I've seen some adventures. Only some. Not but I all. never thought I'd find you here. I didn't either. Speaking of, where exactly is here? What's all this about a locker? Davy Jones' locker. Jack neglected to repay a certain debt to Jones. 
So Joan sent the Kraken to devour Jack. And that's how he ended up here. <laughs> then... Davy Jones' locker? You're saying that we've gone beyond... Beyond the grave? Mm. And we're here to rest Jack from his fate. Hmm? See it all now. Out and about, eh? You had an agreeable sense of the macabre to any delirium. <laughs> he thinks we're a hallucination. <laughs> Complete with these three masqueraders. Jack, this is real. We're here. We've come to rescue you. Huh? Have you now? That's very kind of you. But it would seem that as I possess a ship and you don't, you're the ones in need of rescuing. And I'm not sure as I'm in the mood. Jack! Cutler Beckett has the heart of Davy Jones. He controls the Flying Dutchman. He's taking over the seas. And he must be stopped. The brethren caught his cald. Leave you people alone for just a minute, and look what happens. Everything's gone to pot. Hmm? I'm lost. What's going on? Everything's gone well, to shit so far. Um, sounds to me like this Beckett fella they mentioned is trying to conquer the ocean. Oh. That's who that wants to live in No, I don't. No conquerors. Yeah. Listen, Jack. The world needs you back something fierce. And you need a crew. Why should I sail with any of you? Four of you have tried to annihilate me. Jack, we're on your side. Uh, so you are, mates. I never could have caught the pill without you. Sora, Donald, Goofy, you're hired. Yes. Now, as for the rest of you... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Tia Dolma, you're in. Gibbs, you can come. <laughs> Gibbs. Play anchor, all hands. Prepare to make sail. Yeah, motherfucking compass don't fucking work, you niggas. Jack. Which way you going, Jack? <laughs> right then, Mr. Sora, the helm is yours, provided no. you oh. pass muster. Huh? See that island there with the two peaks? Prove you can reach that, and the open sea is yours. Oh, <laughs> aye aye. <sighs> really? Here's the thing: if I wanted to sail a ship. I would play Black Flag or Odyssey of Assassin's Creed. Not can You know what? I'm gonna end this right here. Like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends. Maybe in the next part I won't kill Sora and crash this ship. But you gotta watch the next part to see. Um, make good choices, be the best person you can possibly be. But most importantly, stay saucy.